Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with another community zoo tour. And remember that beautiful zoo tour that we did in 2021 already called Planet Zoo The Netherlands? Well, the same creator, Yuri Milman, did it again and this time created a highly detailed zoo called Planet Zoo Germany and I'm obviously very excited to check this one out as well. Thank you so much Yuri for sending your zoo to us for a showcase on the channel. Really do appreciate it. And if you have a finished zoo you would like to see me check out on the channel as well then please do make sure to read the description of this video of how you can send me your finished zoo and who knows I might be able to check out your finished zoo as well on the channel in the future. Now without further talking let's go and jump into Planet Zoo Germany made by Yuri Milman and a little fun Fun fact, this zoo was mostly built on a steam deck, which makes this probably even more impressive than it already is. I mean, this already looks super promising. So let's go down right over here. Now we have around 19 FPS when I have the game unpaused. So this means that this game is very, or this map is very, very detailed. I'm in love with this parking lot already. This looks insane. What is that? Look at this. There's even a garage. You kidding? You can even go up? <gasps> oh, wow. That is so cool. Oh, my goodness. That looks insane. Wow. Oh, wow. This is so beautiful. Look at this. Gosh, this is probably the highest detailed parking lot that we have ever seen. Or am I wrong? Gosh, look at this entrance. That looks amazing. I even love like the details right over here of the decals on the floor. I mean, it's all plaster pieces even. You really got out of the way of like, oh man, doing your best to give this a completely different vibe. This is fantastic! Planet Zoo Germany. Look at the beautiful shape here of the entrance. This is so freaking impressive already and we have not even entered the zoo yet. Isn't this awesome? Oh my goodness. Right, if you're watching right now, make sure to leave a like and something nice for Yuri in the comments down below because I mean, hello, we are already impressed before we enter the zoo. This is insane. I love this entrance. Okay, I'm now starting to enter the zoo. I love how you use the flowers here with these um, in this planter area. Oh, wow. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, let's go inside. Oh, man, you must be so proud of this zoo. Look at this building. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm just so impressed already. Oh, I love it. Now, you did use a few blueprints, more of like things like backstage areas or like uh, uh, gift shop stuff. So, so there are some small blueprints, but the rest of it is all made by you. But this looks so cool. Oh, I really do like this little gift shop. That looks amazing. So beautiful. So there's a counter right over here and then there is like this backstage area. Are you kidding? Oh, I love this. Oh, this looks so cool. I love how you did this. Like, this is such a great idea. Look at this restaurant even. Oh, this is so inspiring how you put down all these tables like that you use a combination. Like I wasn't such a huge fan of these but now that i see this restaurant i love it this is insane it's gorgeous look at this you guys this open kitchen i've never seen anyone doing this before what wait a second that's not the same what <laughs> This is freaking amazing. Oh my goodness, you're really just blowing us away. Is this really made mostly on a Steam Deck? What? 
I, 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 I've never played on a Steam Deck, so, but I'm assuming it's like a Switch, right? Like a Nintendo Switch, but then, like, more advanced. Like, look at this building! It's like a Switch, but more advanced, but then from Steam, so you can play Steam, Steam games on it. I mean, it, it sounds pretty difficult. I mean, it's a console, right? But, what? This building is so freaking good. Like the color scheme, the shape of it. It all looks so good. Wow. This is so impressive. There's even like an information booth right over here. Holy cow. It is beautiful. So where do we go? Because I want to see that building, but I also feel like we could maybe save that for, for the end of the tour. This is a lion's habitat. Look how beautiful the rock work, the grass and stuff all looks. Oh, I love also like the different height elevations in here. It's gorgeous. It really looks amazing. I love that you use like the dirty water. You have a cave in here where guests can look into. Oh, this is so impressive. So what is on the other side here before I... Oh, 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 there are, there are paws on the floor. We need to follow that. We need to follow that. Okay, wait, where do they start? There is... There are no paws here. Wait. So do we maybe have to go up here? I don't see any more paws. Oh, oh, there's a sign here. There we go. We have to go up, guys. Oh, I don't mind that. Look at this. Australia Pavilion. Look at these beautiful doors. This is gorgeous. I love this entrance. That looks amazing. Oh my gosh, look at the ceiling. What? This is so much in detail, it's insane. Look how beautiful. I wonder what kind of, there are koalas in here. Oh wow. This is so impressive. Oh, this looks so good. Okay, wait, kangaroos. Are there really just kangaroos walking around here? Look at that. There is a kangaroo. Oh, I say that, but it's the, the, the redneck wallaby again. Oh, <laughs> we need to get used of that. We have another kind of kangaroo-ish species. <laughs> Okay, wait, let's go down here. Oh man, this, this building, I absolutely love it. Okay, wait, this is a dead end, so let's first go here. What does it say? Koalas like this tree. Is there a koala? Well, I don't know, the last time, oh, there's even a platypus here. The last time I checked, um, the koalas were not climbing for me at all anymore. I have not seen them in the trees. But I have also not seen a koala walking around here. But if this is indeed a burrow webcam, which I'm not... Yeah, I, I, I think so. Wait a second. Can we see that? Yes, it's an animal burrow. But why is it so, like, low FPS? I've never seen that before. That's super odd. It felt like a very bad movie, but... Or like a video clip, but... I don't know. I don't know. There's also like this this weird shivering right over here. That's really not you really to blame, but I'm not sure what that is. Feels like something is off with the graphics or something. Okay, wait. But this is all like a climbing frame for the koalas, right? Oh, that's so cool. What? Oh, I love this little cave. There is a koala. Oh, look, and a common wombat. 
Oh, look, and there is also a wallaby right over here. I'm saying that. I just want to double check if I'm not. Yes, okay, redneck wallaby. <laughs> I don't know what it is with all the newer type of animals. I just sometimes make these silly mistakes, but... Oh man, this is really cute to see all these animals in here. And having like these, these platforms and climbing stuff around here. And like the different height elevations also with the path is just so cool. This is such a spectacular Australian area. This is so inspiring absolutely love it oh you even have like some uh, some exhibits right over here oh that's really cool how you integrated that look at this what and you're saying you did not use any mods oh, wait a second oh that's right i think you can download these without using any mods i always forget to do that but that like looks so realistic i don't know how I think it was a modder that was able to do this, make pieces with like this texture and then put it in the Steam Workshop. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's something I remember, but I never did download them myself. And I, I think if I remember correctly, you mentioned on the Steam Workshop page that you did not use any mods. So, mm, tell me, <laughs> because I need that. I definitely do need that. Okay, let's go out of this beautiful Australian building. Wait, what? Is there a different exit? There might be. There might be a different exit. Yes, on the other side. I see it right over here. I think we should go here. Look at this. Oh, here we have the kangaroos. Oh, I love it that you have like this, this road section. Oh, this is so cool. Oh man, just look at the shape of that building. That is awesome. Really love the rock work and, and like all the terraforming and stuff you did. It all looks pretty rough with like the foliage work and the rock work and the terraforming. It, it all just looks so good. Really very impressive. Beautiful pond right over here. Look at that building from this side as well. It looks amazing. Oh, wow. Really love the, the flowy shape that it has. Okay, we need to follow the sign. Okay, we're, we're just going to follow this path. <laughs> what do we have here? Oh, it's a little... Oh, look at this! Oh! <gasps> You kidding? You just walk through a black-tailed prairie dog habitat. Please do not feed us. This is so cool. How were you able to do this? Can I? Can I? Can I see that? <gasps> There's elephant grass here sticking through. Oh, that's so smart. Oh, that is really smart. This looks awesome. Even, what is this texture even? What is this? A classic flower bed. Is that the other side of the flower bed? Oh, <gasps> you kidding? That makes such a great texture. You guys, are you making notes? What? I have never thought of doing that before. I love how you use the logs in here. Oh, God. oh, look. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> oh, they're so adorable. Oh, look at this one. It's been so long since I've seen these guys. Oh, wow. Oh, oh look, this one's coming out of the a little hole. Oh, it's going back in. It's like, nope. 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 I'm staying here. I like that a lot more. Oh, do you have a little drink spot right over here? Oh, it's coming out of here now. <laughs> oh man, these guys are so cute. I love this habitat. <gasps> Look at this side. Look at that little card and like the crates and stuff. Oh, this is looking so freaking good. Again, like the foliage work, the rock work. Just everything. The fact that the flower bats are just genius. Absolutely genius. 
Look, oh, this is the other side of the lions. Okay, so now we follow the paw. I love it how you did that with the signs and the little paws on the floor as well. Oh, wow, look at this, a river going through here. This is fantastic. I can learn so much from these zoos. It's insane. A chimpanzee house. Wow, look at the climbing frames. Oh, I love this, this, this net made from ropes. That is so cool. Also, these climbing frames. Oh, that is looking so good. They're all just chilling and sleeping. Also, yellow is like a color I would not per se pick myself. I'm not really a fan of yellow, but that's just me personally. If I see this now, I'm like, oh my goodness, it looks so good and it works so well for a zoo. Oh yeah, I like it. I like the yellow. I love all these doors. And here I was being super proud of my Nyambura Zoo glass doors. And you're like making all these glass doors for every building. It looks insanely good. Look at this. Wow. I really... It's... Yeah. Okay. I see what this is. This is still... Since last year... This is the uh, the grass that is flickering. As soon as you add like these these African grass pieces and then connect it to a burrow, or you have like a burrow and you connect a burrow to a TV, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. But then this flickering starts. This flickering is just insane. I've been I I, I have been mentioning this uh, since last year when we started the African Mimi Zoo. That was that summer. And it's still not being fixed. I don't understand. I'm going to send them this zoo again and just show them, or maybe just this video, and just show them, like, why is this not fixed? This is so odd because it really ruins the beauty of this zoo. You see everything flickering here. It's just insane. How can it even be? Not that being said, <laughs> it looks so odd the more you look at it. This climbing frame is insane! Oh my goodness. This looks so freaking good. That looks amazing. Also, just how you used, again, like the, these rock formations and stuff. Also on the edge of the water. It's beautiful. What a great island. Oh wow. That is so go look good looking. Like the whole zoo, because you use like a lot of the grass, that everything is flickering like that. It's so weird that something like that can happen. It doesn't make any sense to me. All right, let's go up here. Oh, look at this. I really am in love with your climbing frames. This is so beautiful. They can even walk on their knees here. What? Oh my goodness. This is definitely one of my most favorite ever primate habitat islands, whatever you want to call it. Oh my goodness. If I pause the game, the flickering will stop. <laughs> Maybe we should do that for a little bit. by walking around here, but oh wow. And again, like the different height elevations. It works so well. This is just so gorgeous. I really love your style. It's so impressive. Okay, we need to go to the right side. What do we have here? Boulder's Beach? Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, look. There is a penguin. What a cool habitat this is. There is a waterfall here on this side as well. Oh, that's awesome. Love again the rock formations here. Even the edge. What is this edge? What? I can't click it. But what is it? Is that... The, it's not the edge of the path, is it? Did they change that? Or did I just not notice it? I think it's... What? Oh. 
I think it's the curb of the path. I love that. I'm so happy that Frontier is changing that now because we always had the pretty ugly curbs. That looks so good. I love this habitat. This is looking so good as well. Oh man. I'm just so... Oh gosh. There's a jungle dome. Oh, this is going to be so awesome. Okay, I hear someone screaming in the backside. I try to ignore him. Look at the floor here. I try to ignore him, but I think someone is stuck again. Just like in leave a zoo. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, this is beautiful. So we have a capybara and a tapir in here. I love like the, the greenish color. Just the fact that you, you made this completely different vibe again for this jungle dome. Look at the roof, you guys. Oh, wow. This is gonna be so good. It already is good. It's gonna only be better the more we walk through here. Oh, look, we have some copy bars here. Oh. I love this habitat. This is so cool. There's even butterflies here, by the way. I love how you integrated this because I barely noticed. This is so smart. Ah, oh, stop screaming. I don't know where you are. Oh man, I love how you and also Leave integrated like these these new uh, butterfly exhibits. Well, the, the exhibits are not new, but like the butterflies itself, how you integrated it. Oh man, it's so freaking good. This habitat with the armadillo. You kidding? I just don't know what I'm looking at. You use a lot of the, the mulch patch to make like this, this darker color brown texture, which I just am so impressed with. Gosh, I love it. I love how you use these these roots from the the the, the, the twilight pack. Man, this is so good looking. Look at this edge right over here. With what did you do that? Is that a little... What? Oh, it's all the curb. What? Seriously? That is so smart to just hide it away. With these planks. Oh man, this is so freaking good. Oh, I love this zoo. Oh. It just keeps getting better and better. It's insane. It really is. Oh, I love the different textures that you're using here. Or the path. So many different textures, but we should not go in here. Wait a second. I am going here because I feel like I'm missing out on something. What is this texture? This is like a, a, a floor texture. Oh, how smart. You really have such a great... Ooh, wow. You really have such a great eye on like using different type of color schemes and like... I don't know. It's just all feeling so new and so original to me. Absolutely love it. This is such a cool Gary all viewing gallery, by the way. Oh, and we have, oh, we're so lucky. Oh, wow, there's one uh, behind it. Just look how murky the water looks. Oh, it's so cool. Absolutely love this. Oh, even like the lights here on the ceiling. Just small little detail, but it looks so good. You see what it does? What? That it... Okay, why? <laughs> just can't get over how silly it is. Oh, clouded leopards. Oh, look, it's actually swimming. Oh, I love this climbing frame again. The rock work and stuff looks amazing. Foliage look amazing. This is awesome. Look at the fencing here and the fence around here. It is spectacular. Oh wow, even this is like flickering. Look at this. 
Oh, this is so awesome. I love this viewing gallery with like these, these pillars right over here. This looks so impressive. What do we have here? Oh, there's another viewing gallery on that side. What's this? Oh, this all looks so good. Oh, there's a... This is more of the Clouded Leopards. Wow. This is such a cool habitat. Like, the different height elevations and the rocks and stuff. They look amazing. Okay, let's see. Where shall we go? I think... Oh, I thought this was the exit for just a second, but it's bigger. It's huge! This is crazy! Oh, this is the gharials from the top! Oh, wow! Oh, this looks so beautiful. Oh, I hear that guy screaming. I don't know if you guys can hear it as well, because the, the audio of the game is always a little bit lower than the audio of my voice. But... <laughs> I hear him all constantly. <laughs> something, something like that. I'm not really the best impersonator here. <laughs> Look at this. This is just so cool with the butterflies in here as well. Oh wow! I'm so in love with this building. It looks so gorgeous. I love the waterfall. What do we have here? But where is this path leading to? Oh, the other side here as well. For cool viewing into the habitat. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Oh, look, we have some toilets here. Try to ignore it. Try to ignore it. What is this? Oh, look, some otters. Oh, he always loves them otters. Oh, how cute. Oh, this is so adorable. A little waterfall area. Wait a second, does it have like... Watch your back. <laughs> Kapuchin monkeys! Oh, we need to check that Arsteran as well. But I wanted to check. Look how awesome this looks with the waterfall and like... The, oh, everything, just the foliage work and stuff. It all looks so beautiful. So there is a there's a restaurant here. Oh, we had some awesome interiors again. Look at this. Oh, this is so gorgeous. I'm so in love with these restaurants. They look incredible. Okay, watch your bags, guys. Watch your bags. We're going into the capuchin monkey habitat. Look at these climbing frames. That looks so awesome. Hi! Hello! Oh! <laughs> that was so adorable. A little itchy. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Oh, I love this. I love the fact that you use all these temple pieces here as well. And like all these climbing frames. Hey, we can go up here as well. Oh, that's so cool. Look at this. Looking down. Oh, there's even a slot habitat. You have been working hard to add all these animals in. Oh, man, this is so cool. You even have the sloth in here. Oh, I love that. I almost missed out on it because I was just standing here and I thought like, oh yeah, these are climbing frames for the capuchin monkey. Oh, it would be so cool if the capuchin monkey would also be able to use them, right? Would have been really cool. But it is what it is. They're not. <laughs> Look at the floor right over here. It's in the small little details. Everything is just perfect. Oh, I really do like this. Not sure if it's open for any animal to use. It like oh. there is actually well, I actually should not like this because this is like <laughs> super tiny. But it looks 
really realistic and so freaking good. Oh, wow. I'm so impressed by this. Wait, what? Hot air blower. <laughs> this is so freaking good. Oh my gosh. I am in love with this zoo. A jungle dome. Oh, wow. So freaking impressive. I love the edge right over here. Not sure what kind of habitat this is. Oh, wait. Uh, Usuri doll, maybe? Can I? Wait, what is. <laughs> Gosh, where are you? I want to click you. Oh, look, they even have a cave right over here. Wait, what are you? I'm so confused. A wolf? It's an animal that I have not made a habitat for, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, look, look, look. Oh, you even have a fossa in here. Look how cool this climbing frame as well looks. And like this little pond right over here. Also, the outside looks amazing with like the chain link fences and the structure itself. There's glass right over here. This looks so good. I love the textures, everything, like the wood and the, and the bricks and stuff. Look at this. This looks amazing. The indoor looks awesome as well. I love how you did this. I wonder how you did this. Tall poaching. Interesting how how these billboards you like work on these small screens. Like I did not have to download any billboard, so this is all just working in game like it should. That is so interesting. I actually had no idea. Oh, I love that. Gosh, look at this. Oh, the fossa's here. Look how amazing this looks. They make such a weird noise. Wow. Beautiful. So impressive. Look at the jungle dome from the side. This gorgeous. Okay, let's quickly follow here because I feel like that guy is on uh, somewhere stuck in the jungle dome. <laughs> Oh, I love this. This this playground is so good. Look at this. Insane. Gosh, this is so good. Okay, go uh, going here. Interview giraffes in restaurant. Oh wait, 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 wait. What? Where did the sign go? Yes. Okay, we need to go here, and then we go back the same way. In your, in, interview rhinos in the lower terrace. Wow. Oh, what a beautiful African savanna. It looks so gorgeous. I really do like, like the grass, like these these smaller patches. Oh, these are leaves, and then some higher and tall grass. This is amazing. It is beautiful. Love that sign, by the way. Look at this. I always wonder, like, we have the same game and yet, four years later, people still amaze us with this incredible, incredible Different style and different look of a zoo. It's beautiful. Okay, indoor rhinos is here. How awesome this is. Wow. I am so impressed by this. What's that? Uh, that was like a, a zebra passing by so fast. Oh, wow. I, I just want to want to stand here for hours just to take everything in how you did this. 
I could all just look so freaking good. There's the zebra again. Okay, so if we go up to this restaurant, there is an indoor view of giraffes even. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. I really am in love with this, this staff area. It's amazing. Or staff backstage area. Oh, wow. Look at this beautiful restaurant. Everything is just perfect. Another amazing restaurant here. Kitchens and counters. Oh my goodness. What an impressive zoo. If you have not done it yet, please go to the Steam Workshop page. Leave that like as well there and on this video to make sure that more people will get this video recommended to, to show them this incredible work. And Yuri, like seriously, you, we're not done yet and I hope we are not done for a very long time. You did such a fantastic job here. Wow, it is so, so beautiful. We can go and look inside here. I even love like these these pillars to to make like this fence. That is so smart. Also just just different height elevations right over here. Like it all just works so perfect and so nice. Okay, root is going here. Wait, is this the other side of the chimps? Oh no. That does that mean that we're almost almost done? Oh please don't tell me. Please don't tell me. What is this? Oh, you even have Simons and Gibbons in here. Oh, I love this. It looks so beautiful. Now, obviously, I'm curious. Like, apart from Berlin Zoo, which was, gosh, like, way too long ago. I'm not even going to mention how long ago, but way too long ago. That was the only German zoo that I have... have scene so i'm obviously just super curious look at it go super curious like to everyone that has been to german zoos or that lives in germany like do you recognize habitats like are there any inspirations or recreations from german zoos in here definitely do let me know i mean there are so many details and new things in this zoo that i i would think that this is inspired of a real life zoo or, or more than one real life zoo habitat because oh, well if not yuri then even more 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 props to you for being so freaking creative for for thinking about everything that we've seen we are seeing here yourself like you really have a huge talent which is so impressive. I'm, 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 oh, I'm not going to forget this zoo. It's so gorgeous, so beautiful. Here's the hyenas. Look at this. Is this made with a new pack as well? How, how did you even do that in such a short notice? Like the tropical pack. I love the colors of it. It looks so good. It's so impressive and so gorgeous. Really amazing work. All right, let's go around here. You can even look into the hyena habitat from here. It's a really cool habitat. Also love the different textures right over here as well. Okay, we can, we've seen this, right? Yes, this is the Simex indoor. Look how cool this all looks. View from the top. Really awesome habitat. Look how gorgeous it all looks. Uh, like, just don't pay attention to the flickering. <laughs> Look at this, even like a staff path going here in the back. 
There's even like a little car right now. Can I see that? What is this habitat? This is raccoons. We have not been here yet. Oh, but look at this. Oh man, I love that. Okay, we go to the right side right over here. Wow. This is so beautiful. Look at it. I did hear elephants. This is an elephant habitat. I think so, yes. This is gorgeous. I really, in general, just love the layout of this zoo. It's so well thought of. It's so spacious. You did such an incredible job on it. I love this habitat as well so much. It is so gorgeous. What do we have here? Ostrich, I think Gambok, and then now Ledgera. Oh, looks amazing. Really, the foliage work also, again, like the terrain just going slightly up to give a better view into the habitat. These things around the trees. Oh, it all looks so good. Oh, wow. Look at that building. It's fantastic. Beautiful work. Should we go inside or should we go to the right side first? I don't know. Let's go in. Let's see. What? Oh my goodness. It's an indoor elephant habitat. Like their shelter building. Wow. Look at the roof here. It's fantastic. There's even an education area here. Oh, this is so impressive and so inspiring. Even stand up here and see them in the water. Look at this. Oh, I, I love this so much. Oh, and a little uh, backstage area, a little glimpse inside. Oh, wow. What a cool idea. Absolutely amazing. What is this then? It's an exhibit! Oh, I love this. How spectacular this is. Incredible. Okay, okay, yes, yes. We now go to this side. The layout is planned out so well. Oh, Look at these little cabins! This is looking so good as well. I love how brown it all looks and like the brown water and, and the, 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 the little rocks around it. A little shelter building looks amazing. Oh, wow. This is so freaking good. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh, meerkat habitat. This is fantastic. Where are the meerkats? I don't see them. I hear them. Yes, they're digging holes here. <gasps> there are so many holes around here. <laughs> I love it. Oh, what a cute habitat. Oh, this is so beautiful. <laughs> Look at all these holes. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. What do we have here? This is the other another side for the elephants. This is amazing. Look at that gate. Oh, this is so beautiful. I'm really in love with this suit. Tell me in the comments if you agree with me. Like uh, everything that we've seen right now. What was your most favorite thing so far? I can't even choose. There are so many fantastic areas in the zoo. Oh, I love these beams here as well. What? Uh, I just can't get over it. 
how absolutely gorgeous this all is. Oh, look at this wall here. I love that. These cabins are so cute. Oh, look, there's even a little counter right over here. That looks amazing. A little toilet building inside. Oh, this is so cool. Brett River Hogs on the other side. You have been working so hard to add all these tropical animals in here. It's insane. Okay, now we need to go to the left side. So do we just follow this? Oh yes, that's right. We had to go back. I'm going to pause it for just a little bit. Look, we got some paws. Paws on the floor. Do we need to go straight? Yes, we need to go straight. Oh man. This is probably the most easiest zoo to walk around with, with all the clear signs. Look at this, just viewing. Isn't that just perfect? It's picture perfect. It looks so amazing. Okay, let's go down here. The desert, even. There are bats in here as well. A fountain. Okay, let's go. Look at this beautiful door again. Gosh, I'm so in love with this. I just, like, I wonder how. Okay, glass twilight panels. Wow. Oh, I love these twilight panels. I need to use them. Look at this. A bat cave. Oh, this is so cool. And I love it that you did not use it standard as a walkthrough. Oh, so good. I love how you add it like your own pillars and stuff where everything is connected to. That is such a great idea. Oh, 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 sorry. Just look at this. What? Oh, these are just exhibits, but... Oh, wow. This is such an impressive area as well. It's so gorgeous and so nicely themed. Some exhibits here. Oh, this is so awesome. I love how much colors and stuff you've added. It is so, so beautiful. Look at this fennec fox habitat. Oh, that's adorable. There's a little... Can you look into it? No, wait. Is that like a staff area? Little backstage area? Oh, it is! Oh, that's so cute! Oh, man. This all looks so freaking good. I love the roof here as well. Oh, wow. Uh, let's just mention it. Just one more time, guys. This zoo was mostly made on a Steam Deck. I really don't know how, but it is. It's insane. It really is insane. Oh, the rock work is amazing. Look, there's even like a backstage area here. That's so cool. Backstage area there. A different viewing inside of the habitat. Wow. Oh, look at that jump. Oh, it <laughs> just got stuck in the air. <laughs> just restarted my recording just to make sure that it wasn't like an FPS lag, but it didn't feel like it. Like, that one was a little bit in slow motion as well. Wait, did we just get back? At... What? Wait a second. Didn't we just been here? Haven't we just been here? Yes, this is the elephants. Oh no! I, I, I think... I did something wrong. <laughs> because now we're following the, the same... The same path again, right over here. I need to try and find 
This was the desert building. Okay, so we have seen the desert. And that... Oh, I think we should go here. Wow, I'm happy that we did not miss out on the desert habitat. Oh, and this is the raccoons. I love how, how this habitat feels more European. Like, you really did a great job in, in, like, resembling... Look, look, look. Resembling, like, the different biomes in here as well. Look at this! <laughs> this is so cool! There's an actual table and chairs in here. Oh, I love this. That's so funny. Oh, there's also a skunk in here. Oh, wait. He did a moonwalk. Did you guys see it? <laughs> Hashtag moonwalk. <laughs> Oh, wow. Can Did I really tell you that I love this zoo? Like, a lot? Indian peafowl is in here. You actually just you Wait, is there a sloth in here as well? You use the sloth exhibit for some climbing frames in here, but I'm not sure if I see a sloth. I actually don't think so. Can you... I don't know, there has to be at least one sloth, I think, to get these climbing frames. Huh. Interesting, interesting, but a really cool way to create like this aviary right over here. Also, like using just the chain link fence- oh, the flickering is so annoying. To use the chain link fences off the exhibit like this, that's so smart. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, Eurasian Lynx habitat. There's a staff, a keeper walking around. Oh, look. It's scratching on the tree. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> oh, they're getting food right over here. Jump. Ooh. All of this. Are you going to jump again? Doesn't look like it. Oh, yes, you are. Yes. Oh, it's so awesome. I love that animation. It's so cool. What a beautiful viewing gallery here. Also to get some shade to chill a little bit while looking at the Eurasian links. Different viewing here. Love the chain link fences here. It's amazing. Also notice the fence right over here, how it's made. That's really cool. Okay, signs are going to the right side, right over here. What do we have here? Oh, this is this is another section for the Eurasian links. Oh, there's food for them. Oh, this is a nice spot. You can see them pretty up close here as well. Get a nice view into the habitat and no complaining guests that they can't see it. We have a puma, puma cougar habitat. Yes, cougar. Oh, it's thirsty. That's weird. There's a lot of water here. Beautiful foliage work again and rock work. Love this little viewing gallery here as well with the rocks. Really nice. Oh, look at this. Oh, love these. They are so good. Oh, we have another playground here. Of course there are playgrounds here. Okay, the, the route is going this way, but there is like a little viewing gallery here as well. Look! We have some follow deers and bisons. Again, like the terraforming in here is just great. It's like the grass and stuff and the rocks. This is beautiful. Also really cool to see the bison here in the water, by the way. This up close as well. Just taking a bath. Look how awesome this looks. You can tell that the African grass is, is the glowing, glowy one. <laughs> wow. Love this habitat as well. It's so beautiful. What do we have here then? The North American bee farm. Look how cool. Oh, this is this is really cool that they are able to walk over here and go into the water from here. 
and the waterfall. This is beautiful. Like the different height elevations of the water itself. Oh man, this is so cool. Oh, I love this building with all these 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 beams, tree trunks. Oh wow. Look at the walls here. Awesome. That is so so original. Such an ori original idea. Are I able to climb up there? Oh, this is so cool. I love this habitat. It's so nicely set up. Oh, look, look. Oh, no, I thought they were going to do some animations together, but no. No, 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 no. Okay, let's follow this. Oh, wow, the flowers. Everything is so lush and beautiful. Little restaurant again. Smaller restaurant, but not less beautiful. Really nice. You really did such a great job on all the restaurants in here. Another viewing into the habitat. I'm going to pause for a little bit when walking around again. The FPS is dropping from, I think we had like 22, now it's 15. So yeah, we sometimes just have to. Now I'm walking around with 26, so. <laughs> that feels a little bit better to my eyes and hopefully for you guys as well. You need to go to the right side. Oh, look. Alpine Ibex. Look at the awesome rock work in here. And a beautiful waterfall. Wow, this is so gorgeous. Animal talking point. I actually didn't see any of the other signs. You did hide them away pretty nicely. Or I'm just blind. That could also be. <laughs> I really didn't notice that there was an animal tour around here. No. This is not, not the exit, right? No, 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 no. J Japanese macaque. Japanese macaque. We go through a Japanese macaque area. Wow. Oh, wow. This is so cool. Look at the textures underneath here as well. Oh, so beautiful. You did such a great job on this area. It's lagging a lot. Little indoor section. Why are you in the wall? Not sure what happened there. <laughs> oh, fantastic. I have a, l a l very low FPS here. Oh, there's a Japanese macaque walking around here. As soon as I walk around, it's like 14 FPS. But it's too good to keep it all in pause mode. Love the island here. Fantastic. Oh, we can go down here. Oh, wow. This is this area is so detailed and and so big. Oh, look. We actually have climbing animals. Yes. Well, that's awesome to see a Japanese macaque right in front of you climbing up a tree. Oh, there's, there's a hot spring. Oh, yeah, of course, for the Japanese macaque as well. They have not been using it for me ever since. But um, we just don't think of that. Love this climbing frame here as well. That looks amazing. And then we go out here through the gates. Oh, gosh, wait a second. This is the, the Australian building, wasn't it? Root going to the left side. Oh, look, beautiful crane habitat. Also super nice and lush. It's gorgeous. Look at this viewing here into Japanese macaque habitat. Oh, this is lovely. 
little bridge going over it over here. There are so many details here used. Oh, wow. The badgers. There is even a badger habitat here. Look. Little indoor area. There is a burrow. Oh, that's cute. This is like the, like an underground feeling. You see that? That is so cool. Love the sign as well on top of it. Okay, we need to follow this path right over here. And then go to the right side, right over here. So this, this gotta be also a little badger's area. Oh, I love how this is like more sunken into the ground with like this, this wooden edge around it. Oh, that is so smart. It really is. Okay, let's follow this right over here. And then you look to this sign right over here. You have a lot of education here. And then... What is this? Is this an arctic fox? I did see a sign. It is! Some really cool rock work here. A little water section. Oh, it's walking right over here. I thought like, where is it? I hear it. You can just walk here. Oh, look, there's another one. I'm gonna play in the water. <laughs> it's drinking with its hat underneath the water. Oh, what a cool habitat this is as well. Really love the rock work. Okay, follow right over here. Off route. Which is right over here then? Wait, huh? Off route. I think I think so. Oh look, there is a poison frog in here. I don't know why. Like everything is lagging even when it's now on pause mode. So I I guess this area is a lot more detailed than the rest of the zoo. <laughs> okay, let's follow this right over here. Oh, look, California sea lion. Wait, yes. Uh, sea lion, yes. <laughs> oh, this is awesome with the ball right over here. Oh, look, you can see them swim. Doing little tricks. Oh, wow. Oh, look how big this is. Oh, that's awesome. I love how you divided the habitats here as well. I like the seating area. Wait, but where is this coming from? Not sure. I I think I think we're just going to keep following the signs because that is just working the best. What a cool area here as well. Wow. Every time that I think, oh, we're probably at the end, it's like, no, there's more. There is more. There is still more. What do we have here? Lemurs? Look how cute this looks. Oh gosh, it's tiny, but it's cute. But probably they have a little outdoor section as well. Assuming they do. Yes, they have a little island. A little, they have more islands. Oh, this is so nicely decorated with all the beautiful tropical trees. Oh, that's so gorgeous. I also love the area here with all the rocks and stuff. Okay, let's go. What is this? A little insect, uh, insect house or like a bee house, bee hotel. Oh, that is beautiful with all the flowers around it. There's another playground here, but I want to see. What is this? Oh, this is the other side of the Gibbons and the Siamangs. So where do we go if we follow this? What is this? What is this? I can't tell what kind of habitat it is. Oh, this is what we where we where we walked over, like this bridge or something. This is the other side. We have a reptile house. 
You're kidding! Look how beautiful this is decorated! Man, I love this. This is gorgeous. Look at the beautiful doors. Again. Oh, wow. Look at the rock work in here. Holy cow. This looks amazing. Freaking gorgeous. Some exhibits on the sides. All super nicely decorated and like these small little windows. Absolutely love that. This looks so freaking good. Oh look, there's even like this, this hatch. I, I think you can call it a hatch room. Man, that looks so cool. I always love this when I'm in Rotterdam Zoo to look at these things. Oh wow. We have a tortoise cane! There's a tortoise! Yes! Always love some tortoises. Oh man. What an awesome zoo. And like everything is so different. Like everything has their own style their own biome, their own theme, nothing looks the same. And yet it all looks like one beautiful zoo. I think we we have to go to the right side. There are even flamingos in here. How cool, they have an indoor area. Oh, wow. I wanna know if this is inspired of something because I've been trying to find like these shelters or like backstage areas for flamingos and stuff and, and red crown cranes but it's so hard to find oh man i love this habitat as well i like it that it has like this this different watercolor that gives a totally different vibe to the habitat really the rock work and stuff is amazing so what is on the other side chimpanzee oh wait we have been in there we have seen that Okay, so if we go around here. To exit, see you next time! Oh no! Wait, is that not the pause? No, to the right side. Ah, oh, shoo! We have seen it all. These cute prairie dogs. Wait, no, well. <laughs> but where is the exit? Oh, here it is! Here it is! Oh man, Yuri! You kidding me? What a freaking amazing zoo this was! I have been enjoying myself so much. This has been so inspiring and so original. Thank you so much for sharing this other zoo with us. Like, Planet Zoo the Netherlands was already really good, but Planet Zoo Germany, uh, you can tell that you did an even more fantastic job in here. Everyone, do let us know in the comments down below what you guys all think of Planet Zoo Germany. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed it. And of course, also, just leave something nice for Yuri in the comments down below. He really deserves it. And leave a like at the video to make sure that everyone else can also enjoy the beauty and all these amazing ideas of this incredible zoo. Subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys!